Hey pups, it's Pastel here, and welcome back to another video. You may be thinking, Pastel, why are you in a cardboard box? That's because today I will be customizing an LPS DIY room. Come on, let's give you a tour of the box. Um, here's the box. And I think it's the perfect size for an LPS. Alrighty guys, let's get started on with the voiceover. So I got this really cute dog paper and I thought this dog paper was a really good find because I just love all the dogs on it and I think it's perfect for this project. Next, I was trying to decide what colored construction paper I wanted. And it took me a little bit, but I narrowed it down to two colors. I narrowed it down to blue and purple, and I figured it would go really great with the aesthetic I was trying to show. And you may notice that kind of middle section that will be filled with the dog paper. So I was really excited, and I cut out squares accordingly to size. Next, I found this grayish woodish washed out contact paper to put on left over from a project and I thought it would be perfect for like the floors or something and I was really happy with this idea and as you can tell I was really excited so then I just started placing it and it was kind of hard to get the lines straight and then it just peels off like that so it was really easy but not so easy to place it straight and then I got the second stripe done, and I was really happy with it. And then I had to cut off the top of the box, because then it would give, like, this weird lighting effect, and I just couldn't put my hand in, and it would be a big mess. And then um, I decided the dog paper and the contact paper would go on the sides of the walls to give it, like, a cute pattern. And then I found this super-duper cute... Um, little postcard thing and I was so happy with this dog photo it was so cute and then here I am just cutting it it um the walls were a little bit funky because again they're kind of hard to place I won't lie so yeah and then I placed the dog paper in the center, and I really, really liked it. And these walls on the side were giving me such a pain because they were just not sticking, and it was kind of a little bit of a mess. So, yeah. And then here I am just hot gluing it. And guys, please do not use hot glue without your parents' supervision if you were too young to use it alone. So, <laughs> I burned myself there. I burned myself a lot. And then, so, again, these walls sort of giving me trouble. I was kind of getting a little bit annoyed with them. Then I needed to restock the hot glue gun. And then I just kept doing those walls. And I'm sorry, I'm actually taking a really long time here. And fun fact, before I added... Before I edited this video, it was actually 21 minutes and 49 seconds. So I don't know how long it's going to turn out when you guys see it. Probably around 8 minutes, so I did pretty good narrowing down the footage. So now I'm just hot gluing that dog photo I love. And it may look like I'm using a lot of hot glue, but things weren't really sticking all that great for me. So I had to use quite a bit of hot glue, which wasn't very ideal, but yeah. And then it took me a while to get this dog picture semi-straight, so yeah. Then, coming in with like that really cute postcard, I just put um, some hot glue on it and then sort of slapped it on the wall. And it didn't take that long for me to get this one straight because the other one is kind of a weird shape. And then I just put that table in there to see what it would look like with furniture. Don't worry, it's not permanent. And then I found this pearl necklace that has been tangled for years. So I thought, why not put it to some good use? And then I was kind of experimenting with trims. Then I found this ribbon, and I thought it would be perfect for the trims of the rooms. So I just continued on with that idea, and I was super happy that I coincidentally found ribbon in the same colors of my sort of aesthetic. And then I still wanted to do something with the pearls, so I put them there, and that's a lot of hot glue, but they would not stick. 
And then I just did the whole thing, and I know it's wonky, but I couldn't really touch the pearls all that great because otherwise I would have burned myself. Now I'm just doing some last details, and now I think it's time for you guys to go so you can see the final product at the end. So guys, one last thing, if my intro and outro isn't in this video, it's totally because I edited, and then I did all the voiceover, and then I forgot to add my intro and outro in before I did the voiceover, so it would have messed up all the voiceovers, and I would have had to start over. And also, I'm debating, but I might change the music on my intro, so that's totally why they're not in this video. Alright guys, ready to see the final product? This took about three and a half hours, but I think it was totally worth it. Three, two, one. <laughs> I personally think this room turned out really cute, and this table is actually not a part of it. I just wanted to put a piece of furniture in it to see what it would look like, but I'm pretty proud of it. Let me take you on a tour. So, this was intentionally supposed to be, like, a girl side, and then, like, this more of a boy side, but this actually turned out, like, like a girl or boy side because to me it just looks beachy so i think it could go either way but yeah it has this really cute dog paper and this these pictures took so long and i had to hot glue every single gem on and i got burned a couple times i'm not gonna lie and and then this side, I really, really, really love this photo. It's, like, of a dog swimming with, like, fish. And then it has, like, a little bow and, then like, some seashells and a little gem. Same as kind of the girl side, but, yeah. Same as kind of that side, but, yeah. And then it has a blue trim. And the whole thing has this, like, kind of washed-out wood sort of contact paper. And for the pearls... Yes, I'm aware they're a little bit wonky, but I tried my best considering that I couldn't, like, touch all of it. But overall, I think this room turned out super cute. Um, this was my first time making an LPS DIY bedroom, and I think I did pretty okay considering I kind of love the room but i know a lot of people won't really like it because there is a lot of flaws i will admit so this room is kind of a beachy sort of dog vibe like that's like supposed to be like an under the sea picture and anyways stay tuned because you might see this in a future movie um Please comment down below if you enjoyed this, and don't forget to like, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!